Hello Aries, this is your Mercury in Retrograde reading from March 2018 to about, you know, the um, early part of April, um, maybe into the second half, but this is an energy that's kind of chaotic, it, 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 it messes with your communications, it messes with uh, contracts, transportation, relationships, you name it, it's ass backwards time. And so that's coming up for everybody. Plus, you got Uranus moving out of your sign soon. So I'm kind of wondering if you're feeling it already, leaving. And usually Uranus, it brings brings chaotic situations. It brings uh, um, windfalls. So I'm wondering if Aries is going to feel calmer or if they're just going to change directions. So if you're already feeling it, let me know in the comments. Unless it's too, you know, if it's too personal, don't. But uh, I'm just kind of curious about what's going on with Aries and Uranus. And it's going into Taurus, so I may do that reading next. Um, Aries, Mercury in retrograde, March 2018. Energy's coming towards Aries. Energy's coming towards Aries. Energy coming towards Aries. Mercury in retrograde, March 2018 to April. Mercury in retrograde, Aries. I do mix these up beforehand. I really do. And I meditate on Aries. Each and every one of my zodiacs. Let's see what's coming in. And these are outside energies. You don't have to accept them. You yourself are feeling a little backwards. This could be your energy. You're a little bit reversed. Maybe your energy is low. Maybe you're, you may be a little off in your decision making. It may be a little abrupt when you do make a decision. Let's find out for sure. It could be somebody else's energy also. Yeah, you're having trouble with decisions during this time, what to do next with your life. You do have an offer coming in. Oh, by the way, you also have Venus coming into your sign soon. That's a love, the love planet, the blessings planet. Fun planet, usually. Oh, this camera is not, I'm not used to it. Yeah, you may have a love offer coming in. That could be because of Venus, you know. And um, in the past, coming into Mercury and retrograde, you got you know where you're you're having a hard time making a decision. You got the two of wands. So I'm at my clarifying cards, and this is for Aries, Mercury and retrograde. I've already pre-shuffled them, I've shuffled them again. Uh, Aries clarifying cards, Mercury and retrograde was coming towards them. And this also could be that someone's having a hard time deciding on you. Remember, these are outside energies. But they do get reversed sometimes, so I gotta look at both angles. Two of Wands, why are you reversed? Why are you there? Two of Wands, why are you reversed? Why are you there? Two of Wands. Could be over a lover situation. You may have a lover coming in that you're undecided about. Just should try to pop out, but didn't. Um, the obstacle is work. You may not want to put work into it, or they may not want to put work into your situation. Maybe that could be the decision making. Could be. Why is the Eight of uh, Pentacles reversed? Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed as the obstacle? Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed? There's a uh, there's a seven of pentacles on top of the eight of pentacles, and what happens there? That's reverse also. That someone may not want to contemplate on working with the situation, or you're not wanting to work with the situation. It's an obstacle. Now you do have the ace of cups coming towards you. That's a love card, along with Venus, possibly. Ace of cups. Why is the ace of cups coming towards Aries? Why are you there, Ace of Cups? Yep, someone that has other options, too. Or maybe you're going to have a lot of options of offers coming in. You may have more than one. Okay? Get ready, Aries. 
could be, and it doesn't have to be relationship either. It could be actually a partnership of some sort because lovers are partnerships too. But with Venus going through your sign, I don't know. Knight of Discs because overall energy is outside influence also. And it's the outside environment. But we already know this is the outside coming in. So the Knight of Disc balance. This Knight of Disc can be uh, a slow moving energy. And it could be, you know, the Earth sign. It could be uh, Taurus. It could be Capricorn. It could be Virgo. But even though this person, this person is in the upright. So it may come towards you because things are unbalanced maybe with you. Maybe that Uranus energy, you know, still causing some imbalances. And maybe they're going to help you with some kind of uh, situation where it's left you a little kind of confused, off kilter. But you also have so many offers coming in. Now, you got the Six of Wands in reverse as the outcome energy for Mercury in retrograde. And remember, during Mercury in retrograde, a lot of these energies are temporary. And they uh, very rarely stick. You got to watch your defensiveness because you can lose a victory over the situation if you get too defensive. Because you got to, you know, victory can stop if you like react in a negative way. So try not to react negatively or think more positive. And it could be that your energy is just so low. But like I said, you have Venus coming in, but then Mercury is in retrograde at the same time. So communications could get very well screwed up for you. Now, this may not resonate with all of you. Some people, Mercury in retrograde does not affect, but a lot of you it does, okay? Especially if it's going through your sign also. Mercury's going through your sign, retrograde. Venus is going through your sign, but, you know, and you got Uranus leaving, you know, skipping town. You might like, you may like that, but I'm not sure. Since people have windfalls and they lose stuff during that time. So I need one more card for uh, the Six of Wands, because this is very unclear. Could have to do with the fire sign. This could be also two different situations, because sometimes more than one thing happens during Mercury and retrograde. I think I got two different situations for Scorpio, too. But you got a Queen of Wands coming in, and this or this could be your energy, but I'm, I'm going to read it as it coming in because that's what it's all about but you know you know what the, the fire signs are they're, they're Sagittarius they're Leo and um, Aries but you need to watch your words even though there's something coming in uh, try to be at least polite you may be trying to uh, work something out you may be trying to work something because you're pondering you are pondering and you got the Eight of Pentacles. You may be thinking, this isn't going to work. I'm not even going to think about it, even though you got all these energies coming in, and you may get a little abrupt. And as like I said, this is going to be finances, because you got this Knight of Discs that has a lot to do with stability and finances. And maybe this person is going to try to help you bring in some stability, but you may not want to work with it. That's the obstacle. You may put a halt and lose a victory. Don't lose a victory, Aries. Take advantage of the positives when they come towards you because it may not happen again for a while. And you want this energy. You want the positives. Get, take on the positives. Get rid of the negatives. The lovers, you know, is there if you wanted it, if you want partnership. So this is your reading. Balance is the key. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.